Hello everyone. Integrating talent management scorecard is what we'll be discussing in today's video. So we'll understand what is scorecard, which we I appreciate that most of you are aware of. Now we look into talent management scorecard. How does it implements or how does it needs to be executed so that it has a win win performances, not only for the talent in this case, the employee and also the management talent management in, ter in terms of the organy or the company in which the talent has been employed for. So yes, integrating talent management scorecard is a win win situation for both the organization and the individual thereby. So agenda is simple, straightforward. I'll give you a brief introduction, the history thereby, the trends that has been actually been in vogue and the evolution of the various talent management models thereby. So uh, uh, talent management has its has its basic fundamental roots in organizational development, in competencies management, in assessment process, in succession planning. Now, what are we looking into it? Talent management is nothing but basically identifying talent, ranking them, prioritizing them and moving people as and when it is required in the organization. So that is what talent management is all about it. It is the organizational development at the core what we are looking into it. So way back, if you uh, do it way back about a century back, more than a century back now, if not early it's the industrial revolutions took place it was late 19, uh, 20th century what we look into it the industrial revolution where there was mass production of goods which was happening for the first time then probably 1917 early part of the uh, 20th century what would happen was uh, henry foyle the french ma uh, management pioneer who proponent the 14 principle of theory, the administrative theories, Henry Foyles, that is where you will see the requirement or mention of succession planning for the first time. That is what would happen around it. In 1914-18, first test used for World War One, wherein we are looking to pivot people at a pertinent position altogether. 1920s or the 30s, if I may say so, it was a job simulation decade where people were looking into manipulating the job so that it becomes ease of operation for the incumbent, in this case, the employee. And also for the organization, we are talking about leadership taking places for the first time. 1940s is when the British War Office Selection Boards interviewed the, the process of filtering people and choosing the best among the lot came into work. 1945 was the first non-military usages of assessment. For the first time it was being done in the civil society and uh, wherein we were churning talents to screen the best that was available out there. And that is what we are looking for it. 1956 and 50 to 88 was a modern uh, adaptations that takes uh, took place of the management studies. There was proper interview, business games, personal history. There was this fact check about background checking and so on and so forth. 1959 was where Peter Drucker introduced the term called knowledge workers. That was a term for the first time when intelligent quotient was to be coined upon it. Intellectual abilities became into work. The human capital was actually being tested 1970 Ed Sheen works on the organizational effectiveness based on the manpower cap capacity 1973 McClellan David McClellan went for competency mapping it was 1970 approximately 50 years from today what we talk about it 1997 the war for talent first used by Stephen Hankin wherein there was excess supply of manpower and did I say talented manpower? Probably that is where the war for the talents first started around it and we wanted to acquire only the best. 1990, the term talent management was first coined by David Watkins and the soft skills as of today, 2009, best practices talent management institute with Louis Carter coined the terms of what is required, requirement of a leadership of which is continually evolving and emancipating in a such a way that makes it imperative for all talent management to evolve, to keep abreast with the changing nature of the environment. And that is what has been the requirement of the day. The leadership calls it 
as mentioned by Hedrick, methodology that involves nothing but the review of literature. Remember, we are talking about ITM, integrating talent management, review of literature, target or targeted surveys of global companies as in benchmarking them, inputs from the talent management and corporate HR experts telling being aware of the situation or what are the evolving trends in terms of compensation in terms of facilities extended by the company towards the employee or the type of employee that we are looking into it in depth case studies that comes around it vendor trend analysis is what we should keep our mind focused upon and that was the integrated talent management happened this is where actually in-depth study happened in the environment, in the competitors, within the vendors, and you name it, we have a different vertical, similar industries, different industries altogether. We are doing nothing but trying to build upon a scorecard for, for the talent management. That is where the integration has come forward to it. Let me come out to the process of people, processes, operations together as the case might be. Now, what are we looking out here? We, this is the uh, talent management scorecard where we are talking about processes in terms of succession planning, in terms of learning and development, talent acquisition, workforce planning, compensation and benefit, performance management is what we look into it. That is the part of the process. Exactly speaking, every step needs to be identified be it learning and development be it acquisition workforce planning every step of the process of every activity needs to be monitored let us talk about the operation part we talk about job design in the uh, in the organization the salary structure the human resource information sheets data sharing policies procedures now these needs to be mapped around it yes why not and it it is where you are Pop, it, the data gets typed in, feed in in one of the section, but gets populated everywhere else. Now that is what we need to understand the operations part of it. Then comes the people. The people are the vital people, the key people working in an organization. Let's say the corporate executive, the, the vice president, talent management, HR department, line organization, frontline employees, you name it and we have it. Then this is what we are talking about the people in terms of transformation as the organizational, cultural, functional and the whole system as the case might be. Yes, integrating talent management scorecard consists of four, four uh, segments, namely process, operation, people and transformation. I repeat process, operation, people and transformation thereby. Eight critical success factors. Now let us understand what are those eight critical success factors which when leveraged an organization catapults into a high performance organization. They are let the business drive the need. Don't create the need. Don't create a want. Let the business drive the need as on when on requirement. Integrate it with the culture. Gain executive sponsorships. Executive sponsorship is having a complete faith complete knowledge keeping the top fellow the top management in the loop and ensuring that everybody is aware and they are fully invested in having that culture been ingrained involve the line people the information technology the it team the team is critical the employee is critical focus process project management are required developed a common lingua the language that i'm talking about it and the last but not the least is to train maintain sustain show value always keep updated you keep on grooming your staff you keep on training them you keep on motivating them maintaining their um, <clears throat> maintaining their motivation at a higher optimum level that is what sustainability is all about it this will show that the business the company is on the right path remember if the business isn't asking never do it don't do it that is what ew scripts mention it let business decide what it requires. Let business tell you what it needs and the business should drive the need. And that are the eight critical success factors that the organizations must remember. Alignment of employees and organization goal with business strategy. Now, what are those? We have improved utilization of resources, alignment of business strategy, expected growth, the top 
fellow, the chief executive officers, what are the succession plans? How do we change? Remember that those are the key vital position in an organization. Every time there's a change in the vital position, the performance of, of the organization might either shrink or probably revive to a better segment. Need for improved productivity, turnover rates, aligning alignment of employees and the organizational goals, cultural transformation, globalization effect of the downtown economy, labor, cost efficiency. These are the factors that leads to integrated talent management strategies. These are things that needs to be understood, the turnover rate, the improved productivity, the organizational goals, the cultural transformation, utilization of resources and so on and so forth. If you look into it, the majority of the organization haven't, I repeat, still haven't integrated talent management. So we need to drive them to integrate talent management through human resource division, the HR division that we are talking about it. Remember the low frequency end is the IT department R&D, but on the high frequency end are the human resources people, the vice president of talent management, the, the C-level executive, probably the mid-level executive, the director of talent management, the director of HR operation, director of organization cap capacity, capability and de uh, deployment. These are the high frequency levels, whereas the low, low frequency level are the IT department, the research development. Remember, other listed are board of directors for the training department. What I wanted to say is destination leverage the directors of HR in each business location as changes advocates for end users. It was critical that the senior executives call for and supported the integrated talent management initiative as on when on required, the vendor selection and identification of the main areas of focus are the top critical success factor for integrating talent management. Top areas, what are they? Top areas of organization identifying to be integrated, career and competency management, talent development management, performance management, analytics and reporting, succession planning, goal management, talent acquisition and recruitment management, learning system management. These are the areas that needs to be integrated. Again, to repeat, is your career of an, of an individual, the competency management, the talent development management. If there are any chances of promotions, performance management, improvement in performance and probably earning growth, analytics and reporting, succession planning, goal management, talent acquisition, recruitment management, learning system management, when choosing to focus and in, in uh, for integration, it is important to keep your business strategy at the center of your decision. Absolutely no doubt about it. And if you look into it off late, did I say they were not integrated fully? And that is what been shown around in the graph. Not at all beginning. People are beginning, organization are beginning somewhat, but most of them are still not integrated. But yes, believe me or not, if you have to be sustainably successful in the ever-changing dynamics of the business world. You have to integrate all your talent system. We be it talent acquisition, performance management, succession planning, workforce planning, learning and development, compensation and benefit, feedback, measurement, retention. I will tell you in the next slide on how much people, how many percentage have the organization been integrated. Let's say 27% of the organization have been fully integrated with ITM, the integrated talent management system or the performance management. 49% of the organizations see the need and having an integrated workforce planning. Absolutely, yes. Approximately half of the organization. One fourth of the organization have not yet begun integrating succession planning at all. One fourth. That means 75% have done it, believe me or not. Approximately 44% of the organization are beginning to integrate talent acquisition. One third of an organization are beginning to integrate the succession planning and approximately half of the organization are somewhat integrated feedback. Now these are the integration of the talent management feedback that needs to be given, taken from time to time. The organization still rely heavily on IDS or internally developed system for their talent management process. Now, this is what needs to be improved upon it, be it the success, these are the various uh, organization that we have said about it, let's say Talio, Halogen, ICMS, Oracle, SAP, various organization, current usage of talent management system. In the quest to integrate process will be adjusted, expensive customization will be added.
process pieces will go offline or a combination of this will take place you must i recall i you must remain proactive never be reactive if you are reactive you are already losing the race and that is why we keep on saying about it integration of talent management processes is a must rather than the manual system or the grapevine system which the originally the organization are supposed to collect the succession planning with the hearsay that somebody is supposed to retire or somebody is leaving the organization somebody has said this thing can we have that in the system altogether can we have succession planning out there so yes we are looking into it and that is what has been seen into different companies beat success factor saba gallop softscape people click you name it we have it the organization still rely heavily on internal development system now we need to move into the integrated talent management scorecard thereby the seven integrated indicators of integration successful first ease of use it is very easy to use you can see it on your screen access to meaningful data make sense of the data you don't only see the data you can make sense of it alignment with the business strategy employee engagement linkage of the strategy execution and talent cultural transformation is what we look forward towards is and management of committee to the developing people that is what is required and we need to have those development time and again so result of integrating talent management what happens what happens if we integrate everything we have high employee engagement absolutely high employee engagement we have a referral program because our employees are happy motivated satisfied they will easily refer good people increase of cost cross functional moves better succession planning in overall retention program improves and it's a positive positive for every one of us be it the company the organization employee vendors or the customer thereby so talent management model let us come to the structure of the functional model reflecting the different part of the talent process we have the organizational strategies and we have the improved performances remember it's a, a circular nature that goes around here sustainable competitive advantages can be developed with an organizational strategies now organizational strategies should have good people to work for they have to have a selection system performance reward system leadership development system succession management system and this is nothing but talent architecture the dna of the organization is of the human being that they employ is the talent that they employ the talented person is going to be worth notifying for the organization for a superior talent they lead to us improved performances thereby succession planning and performance model process began its integration with other businesses and talent management processes out here succession management overview if we want to go around it yes look at it it's like a umbrella that comes around it the umbrella is all about the performances be it of the senior level middle level or the entry level performance modeling for the key roles in terms of staff rec recruitment early identification preparation talent pool and development talent pool readiness candidate selection and placement now this is what the strategic business analysis would look into it a good performances based on the recruitment identification talent pool development readiness and placement there has to be a system in place and this is the umbrella that goes around it the system management and support will give us the data management talent review process tools and training progress measurement that goes around it let me give it to you what are the best practices in talent management as the case might be how it has evolved incorporated more talent management as on when on basis you look at and we can have it the basic idea is a business complexity of the new market the business constraint the speed the engagement the agility and the accelerated development remember from this aspect we need to go over for an accelerated development then how do we go around it is the question that goes around it yes accelerated business complexity is your organizational strategy my goal is to have an improved performance accelerated development come what may and in between are the constraints speed engagement and agility that needs to be taken into care forces that can be only be done with the talent architectures the talent strategy the superior talent which will lead to a better business result and this is all that we goes on and on and on as for the segment is concerned the 
this is the model to continue to evolve continue to incorporate more talent management and more business processes thereby we are talking about scenario scenario planning planned improvisation based on research i'm talking nothing but hr analytics thereby so based on the recent research uh, bpi designed a model that addresses the integration of talent management from business standards business strategy point of view the elements of bpi integrated talent management is what we talking about the talent acquisition compensation and benefit learning and development succession planning this bar is on the part of the organization but what comes as for part of the technology and the uh, employees in the organization in tandem they are the strategy the workforce planning and the performance management thereby and that is how we need to go around cross with it yes we come to understand the last uh, particular segment is what business strategy we develop around it the axis onto which the wheel is going to move around it in terms of learning and development acquisition in terms of succession planning performance management compensation and benefit and workforce planning these are nothing but wheels of our hr technology our organizational design and the axis is what we look into it because this will eventually understand the problems or the diagnosis of the uh, on the organization assess them design them implement them support and reinforce them and evaluate them and keep on improving till the business comes to a high performance uh, organization altogether with this i come to an end for this particular presentation thank you for watching this video till the end